Man accused of brutally attacking two Detroit EMTs will be heading to trial. And that's not the only vicious crime prosecutors say he committed. Seven investigator Heather Catalo is here now with details on this one. Heather. Well, DNA evidence links Michael Montgomery to two cold cases that involve rape and murder. And today a judge got to hear about that awful night a few weeks ago when he slashed two Detroit EMTs who were trying to help his girlfriend. 30-year-old Michael Montgomery sat facing away from Kelly Adams as she described how a medical run on October 20th quickly turned into a terrifying encounter with him. He was swinging, and, and my partner was swinging his hand. And the blood was going everywhere. Adam says Montgomery became belligerent when she told him he could not ride in the ambulance with his girlfriend they were trying to help. She says he threw punches at her and her partner, Al Rojas, before Montgomery started stabbing them. When I came back up, that's when he, he caught me in the corner of my ear and sliced down my face with the box cutter. Montgomery will now stand trial on seven felony counts in that case. Also in court to testify, a young woman who says she saw him nearly 10 years ago, two days before 16-year-old Dantoya White's half-naked body was found in an alley near Joy and Evergreen. That witness was just 16 years old at the time. I'm scared. Scared of what? I didn't know what was going on. It just frightened me to see that in the alley. Detroit police were called to that scene back on January 1st, 2006. Black female laying on her back with her pants leg, pants leg um, all the way down, left pants leg still on, down by her ankles. Uh, a lot of blood on her face, uh, blood all around her body. Montgomery is accused of sexually assaulting and killing the teenager, and the judge ruled there is enough evidence to move forward on that case as well. Michael Montgomery will head to circuit court on these two cases next Monday. He'll be back in district court tomorrow so a judge can determine if there's probable cause in a third case. That one is a sexual assault from 2005. The victim is expected to testify. Carolyn. All right, Heather, we'll be there.